Hi there, signs of Taurus. This is Kim here to do a next 48 hour reading for you. I hope you're doing really good out there. Thanks for joining me. Let me get a sip of water. <clears throat> That's a little better. There's so much pollen outside, but it is gorgeous and it's like worth it. <laughs> worth it. Okay, I'm pulling from Midnight Magic. We're going to do a Celtic cross to see what messages your angels, your spirit guides have for you. My mom in the picture, the angel helping with this reading, in case you're wondering. All right, let's get this started. Taurus. King of Wands reverse. It looks like the Page of Swords is already there as a challenge. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Heart of the Matter. Four Pentacles. Past Energy. <clears throat> Eight of Swords. Goals or Destiny. Page of Wands. Okay. What I'm getting so far is in the past feeling kind of limited or like you were obligated to something and it, and it put a limitation on you with the eight of swords feeling of being trapped in a sense because what your soul is longing is for something that actually works for you with you the challenge is like this communication that involves connection with your body something you feel within your body that is actually working the heart of the matter is you're still working on your spiritual growth and your material growth. There might be some crunch time when it comes to uh, trying to save. Trying to save. The goal or destiny is your page of wands. And that has to do with the good news. I mean, it's a good news card. But it's also usually about like passionate new beginnings. A new beginning for you something playful, something fun, something, like I said, that you can actually feel in your body is actually working for you. So I'm not really sure <clears throat> what you're dealing with right now. But I don't, I don't feel like you feel like that the connection is there as strong as it could be. Temperance in the reverse is the future energy, which is divine timing for spirit to bring in some kind of change. Um, Chemistry. It's about chemistry. What is the, um, how you're feeling? Like a new beginning. And like there are challenges or competition in the way of a new beginning for stability, protection. You're feeling like you want this new new opportunity, new um, everything, something that feels better to you, a path that feels better. You could be really trying to keep your focus, so distractions can get us off focus. What is the, in the environment at this time? The hermit. Feeling kind of alone or like you want to spend time, so, or maybe, maybe you just are spending time doing your own research, self-reflection, looking back on the past, trying to see, okay, what is it that I want? If something's not working out right now, then what is it that I want? The hermit. What about the hopes or fears here? So getting your, doing your own research is going to be really, really important. Oh. The hopes or fear is the king of cups. 
this is kind of like the Zen master, you know, of your heart space. I don't know if this is another energy. It doesn't have to be a masculine energy, but it's an energy that is resonating on the same frequency that your heart is. And so in that sense, I feel like this is a hope for this energy to come into your experience or your life. And it might be divine timing for that energy as we have the temperance in the reverse for the future. So like no more waiting on that. What is the um, outcome looking like for Taurus? Let's get one more. I like, like two. Oh, you have a divine couple. A new beginning that's going to lead to, oh, you have, <clears throat> oh, oh. Oh my goodness, and there's the king, and literally, here's my king. Wow. <laughs> wow. I feel like you'll be taking action on a queen of cups energy, which is somebody that you can talk to, that your heart resonates with, that you feel comfortable with. Um, and the king of swords here is like discipline doing things orderly maybe like you feel like things should be a certain word and this energy agrees <laughs> you know what i mean you know what i mean so king of swords do it is uh you hold the information and this is a divine this is a divine match your hopes it's matching with your hopes what you're wanting is matching with your hopes and it's coming i also have the ace of wands on the bottom which is this new passionate beginning for you so I wouldn't get too discouraged about whatever is not working currently because you have two of the cards that indicate there's going to be a new start or something new when it comes to love, romance, passion, or inspiration for what it is that you do for work too. <clears throat> the discipline will help as far as making a schedule or getting your information regarding this competition or focus that we're needing to have or to re you know refocus in a sense who taking really good care of yourself self-care self-love it's what's bringing in these new things you can go ahead and give us more information i'm not gonna specify what it just tell us tara what else do you want us to you have many 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 many, many options and so the, uh, the, um, the feeling here is choose wisely because there is an option out there that is going to be like a perfect match. Um, you can be really daydreaming in your head about these things, especially when we're spending time by ourselves or alone. You can think about the different things that you want. Uh, again, with the daydreaming. It's not a head in the cloud energy. It can be an energy that says to be careful with uh, impaired thinking of any kind that would lead you to pick a choice that w wasn't so clear to you only because of that. So being careful what we put in our bodies, it's gonna be really important. What else do you want tours to know? take charge here with the emperor boss you're the big boss energy be the big boss energy this is that aries energy so this all these choices in this new beginning it might be talking about aries season uh which we're in so yeah still for you so it, and it also means <clears throat> you are your authority you are the author here of your authority and it doesn't feel like it right now that's why you have to do the research about what it is that you want and then ow, <laughs> find that information, you know, that you need, like with the King of Swords. Boss up, be assertive, have a strategy. You want reciprocity. You're looking for reciprocity. You're looking for an equal give and take. Somebody might be giving you gifts too because we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. This might be that opportunity to make a substantial amount of money, um, a give and take. It might be talking about charity also. Gift giving, reciprocity, the scales getting balanced out. Uh, this energy, coming together with energy that's all about the compromise.
and there's another king of wands in the reverse. So you've got two king of wands in the reverse. We're dealing with a Leo energy um, or fire sign of energy. It doesn't have to be though. I kind of hesitate even saying signs unless it's major arcana now because it just it takes away from the whole point of the reading. This is just saying this isn't working right here, whatever that is. Something that needs to, that will help you build more. Oh, it's about investing in yourself when you feel more inspired to do so. Again, with the choices and choosing wisely, so Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, you feel like making an investment, needing to make an investment in yourself too first. Getting out of your own way, then <clears throat> you're not bound, restricted, but it could feel that way could feel like some kind of emotions are rather shallow and that you're putting more obsessing or thinking into this than really than necessary the chariot on your way to a victory on your way to maybe even travel with the chariot but it represents this forward momentum <clears throat> with the chariot energy to stay in that you will go to a, a victory a victory but it's a uh, self-awareness awareness, awareness. <laughs> Of your surroundings balance is just the top here good choices and decisions there's this energy of um, not wanting to be alone maybe but being kind of worried about coming out of a financial worry or a health worry or concern or just having the feeling of like I don't want to do something alone is there with that five of Pentacles. it's in the reverse so that's a good sign of getting out of that energy right they have the eight of Pentacles indicating like, again that the money is going to be pretty good when you put your head into your work invest in yourself like doing really good at your work persevering and not giving up on yourself on a situation and the nine of ones possible that you can start something that makes you feel inspirational and like you can build again right and then it's like at the you look at my aces. You have you have four four aces. Wow, yeah, you have four aces out here. Ace of Cups in the upright is an, a new love interest coming in, or possibly a loving career where you love it so much you can't believe that it's going to make you so much money. That's what I'm getting with that, guys. It's just a short reading today, but if you would like a private reading, reach out to me in the description box. This is how, and I'm going to close that off with an angel number for you. Ooh, 7-7. Seven, seven. So time to get into the flow of thinking more positively that things are going to work, right? 7-7-7. Seven, 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 your purpose flows from within you and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose. A state of peace and calmness in your soul. I am in the flow and you are ingenious coming up with good ideas to help everybody else, helping the collective good the highest good of all and don't forget you've got all these dang aces you've got new beginnings all over the place should you choose to want them five five i'm evolving substantial changes in your future embrace the change and a need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears i am evolving we'll do a few tea leaves watch out for the sharks or the people that are there to uh get money or trying to yeah, trying to get a lot of money out of you. You're on the mountain road to success. Mountain road, you're on the road to success. Put your head in those practical things, those day-to-day, -day, the work, the effort that you put in, it will pay off. <clears throat> Four-leaf clover, great or good fortune. Boat, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Jug, a lighthearted, carefree time. Younger man, dealings or relationship with a younger man. Rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. And wall, a misunderstanding, which might be the uh, the challenge, part of that challenge also. So that's what I've got for you, Taurus. Like, subscribe, come back, hit that notification bell. And um, I'll see you next time. I'm sending you much love. Bye-bye.